Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modest series. This time we are going to jump straight in as Zachary here. Good old Zach. He has been added to the roster. As you can see, Skull has created some lovely thumbnail characters for this guy. For those of you that didn't see the character showcase episode for Zach, essentially this character comes down to one main thing. He has these little chips that he gets. He gets one pair room. And he can use those chips to gamble. And when he gambles, he can get different effects, positive or negative. The more he uh, saves up his chips, the higher chance for positive effects. We can also spend money. As you can see, we started off with 10 cent here. We can save up money and go into the shops to buy poker chips. Uh, so yeah, he, he basically has much weaker shops as well as that. So he's a pretty interesting sort of risk reward based character. Uh, I think he's a pretty fun one. He tends to be best played um, at around four or five chips in my opinion. Uh, so I'm going to go up to four and then we'll gamble. Uh, obviously you can save them as high as you want. I think the max is like 20 or something. But I like even even if you want the guaranteed effects, that's in my opinion not that I wouldn't say it's not worth it, but like it takes a long time and you could still potentially get a negative effect even if it is a very low chance. So I'm playing really bad right now. Um so we're just going to I've got I have got to be careful. I've actually got a decent streak going on right now. So let's uh let's not fumble this. Let's actually play decently well here. Um and take our time. God, these enemies clotties are the worst. Uh but yeah, so I'm just gonna sort of see how it goes. And yeah, I'm, I'm liking Zack as a new addition to the roster. He's not a crazy unique character. He's not exactly got something um, like insane going on. But you can do stuff like that, which I think is pretty interesting. I like stuff like that. Um, get ourselves a dice shard here. Let's just... Oh god. I am probably going to take some damage here. The Pyro's not too bad, actually. But yeah, it's just, just a little bit of extra gambling. Like I said, I think four is going to be kind of where we normally sit. Oh my lord. Okay, that didn't work out the way I was hoping it would, I'll be honest. In fact, that worked exactly opposite of how I was hoping it would work. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, half a heart there. That definitely helps. I'm going to try, actually. I've just realized there's a Tinted Rock in this room. Could I persuade you to fire over near that? Could you, like, fire here, please? Nope. Oh, my God. This is so difficult. It's the bloody dude in the middle. He's messing everything up. Dude, he keeps getting close. You need to stop, sir. I I, I tried. I tried. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> I really did attempt to make that work, but no. Nah. I really don't want to die. I, like, I, my streak isn't crazy high. I like the fact he's trying to steal a charge off of another charge one. Um, oh. What? Did I just... Oh, I just accidentally used my dice shard, but I did just get Sun Bond. And a very, very good thing there. So, yeah, I'm not that bothered, but I didn't mean to use my dice shard there. Hopefully, that was clear. Um, that, is, that is rather annoying. Hopefully... Dude, Gertie, you gotta try harder than that, man. Our life depends on you being not an absolute goober. I'm gonna try and take out these guys. I'm gonna kind of leave one Gertie basically completely alone here and just take care of this one dude. Because I think that fly was very close. I think that's the better way of doing it. I'm really sad that the uh, the charm didn't pan out there. I was really hoping it would. We gotta make sure we don't accidentally use um, make sure we don't accidentally use our soul of the lost here. I'd very much like to steal away Devil Deal with that if we can. Gerdy, I, I think Gerdy is a boss that I I kind of always sort of in my head rank as a very easy boss, but I don't actually think they are like. With high damage, I definitely think it's one of the easiest bosses. And the ones that spawn in rooms have lower health, so they're definitely easy. But this guy with his red creep, the extra speed stuff that he's got going on, it's, yeah, he can be kind, he can be kind of difficult. I'll take this because this is a gamble. And my god, was it a good one. We did, unfortunately, lose some health, so I am not going to go... Um, I'm not going to go down to the downpour with one HP. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how this goes. We're having a, an interesting run so far. We can dig up some good stuff here, potentially. Or we could get a Mega Troll Bomb. Good, good. Thank you, game. 
Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, that was very close. That was a very risky play. I basically gambled then that I wouldn't just die by it exploding on me. Can this game not, please? Why? Why did it sw Why did it swap my card slot? Please, fix that. It's so frustrating. And I guarantee some of you are like, Hey Turtle, why don't you just think about it first? No. No. It's the game's fault. <laughs> oh my god, that's annoying. I just wanted to use Snake Eyes. God damn it. Dice Bag. I will take Dice Bag. actually gonna kill myself this is why by the way by the way just so you guys know these pedestal mimics are getting removed from the game in an upcoming patch um i i said to spear who was one of the developers hey why do these still exist they're dumb and he was like yeah you're right <laughs> um so yeah he, he's getting rid of them which is very nice because yeah they're, they're really not very good I might die here. In fact, I think I will die here. Unfortunately, the streak shall not live on. But I will try my damnedest to keep it alive. I'm not giving up yet, but I really can't promise anything right now. Things are not going our way. Things are not going our way at all. We got the Eternal D6 in a room with nothing to reroll. It's good. It's good. I'm basically... I, like... I'm kind of, like, gambling on a D20, but right now we don't have enough items to even bother with a D... Not a D20. Um, a D100. Royal Flush. Is, God damn, we're getting that a lot. Uh, Justice at least gives us a red heart. Good, good. Another Justice. Good, good. And a Moon card will at least save us a bomb. Astral Projection is very good. I will definitely take that. As much as I'd want to wait for a reroll somehow. One of the re many rerolls that I've wasted so far. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave that for now. <laughs> God damn. Oh, Monstro's broken again. Heck. It's okay though, he's almost dead. Yeah, unfortunately my Monstro is a little busted right now. Sig Monstro files doing some wacky stuff. I'm sure one of you has already left a comment about how to fix this. I just haven't seen it yet. I'm sorry. Monstro's just a bit of a, bit of a broken boy right now. Anyways. Ugh. Question of the day. I haven't actually given a question of the day yet, so let's uh, let's get to that. What we're we gonna get this time? Speed down. That's not too bad. Um, question of the day. What is the question of the day today? Hmm. Let's think. What was your favourite age? <laughs> Bit of an odd one, but yeah. What what's a What's a time in your life that you remember really fondly? For me, it was probably sort of around when I was like 13, 14, because uh, me and my family went on holiday a lot. I got to go to um, to Sri Lanka because my par my grandparents lived there uh, for, for a few years. That was really, really nice. Um, and yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, a lo lot of good memories from then. A lot of good memories. I still, I'm still having new good memories now, but it's, it's not quite the same. I will pop a D12 here. By the way... I love the new dice, um, the new dice sprites with the dice bag. I don't know why, but it just fits so well. Right. Two stone chests here. Beautiful. Ooh, vibrant bulb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dice bag, but vibrant bulb. It's just too good, especially considering our space bar item is one of those that I don't feel like we're required to use every room, so we're going to be able to keep extra charge reasonably often and then we can like get the actually it's, it's pretty perfect because we can get the boss like most of the way dead and then use it at the very end to finish off the boss that's gonna be a pretty good tactic actually and yeah we're getting a nice amount out of this i do really really like the dice bag i was just saying about how much i like it but i still do think this is going to be the far better shout for us right now but snake eyes again we got I, I didn't even see what that was it was heavy something or other it said heavy something i don't know what i don't know what it was it was a bad effect either way. So like this room is certainly one that I'm just going to do that in. Calm down, you sneaky boy. Right, let's try and save up a few more uh, a few more chips on our uh, on our snake eyes this time. Let's not go quite as uh, quite as quick. 
Eddie boy. My little Eddie boy. Good, good. We're at two, so let's try and get to like six, sh shall we? Like a six room charge variant of this. Oh my God. Astral projection is helpful though. It negates the next hit in this room. Um, also just genuinely pretty useful. Why did I use a real bomb there? I don't know, but I'm happy I did. <laughs> that is good old magic mush. Was not expecting that. Hello, hello, my sweet baby boy. I meant to use my space bar item and I just didn't, but it all worked out in the end. But yeah, magic mush, ooh. Haven't had it in a little while. Very, very pleased to see it. God damn, can we stop getting active items? You know what, we got a soul of Isaac, let's just use it. Come on now. I mean, it's an active that I'm gonna take, but come on now. Like, <laughs> game's just trolling me at this point. Really? Do you know what? To be fair, ah, I was just about to say we get flight for the room and then I finished the room by accident. Now I don't have flight. Big heck. Finish this guy off and you go down as well. Let's snake eyes now. Disappointment. <laughs> That's the thing. You, you, you're always gambling. You're always gambling. Just because you save up doesn't mean you're going to get a good effect. It just increases your chances of getting one. Uh, right. Boss time. Not a particularly safe boss here, especially with all the dips about. I am going to plant some bombs on this guy just to speed things up. Oh, that, 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 that didn't speed anything up really at all, did it? That was incredibly minor. I'm hoping I can keep my angel deal here, but I'm not all that convinced right now, I'll be honest. But yeah, I gotta say, uh, back to my question of the day. I just, I, I remember being on holiday. It's not like it was all good. Like, my grandparents are kind of terrible people, or, or at least they were. My grandma's pretty much fine, but my granddad was. He, I don't know, he wasn't always. And he wasn't really to me. He just had been to my family. Anyhow, uh, so it wasn't always pleasant. There was some arguments and stuff, but it was, it was still a good time. Ooh, tiny horn. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my God. Gimme, gimme. He's the cutest little fella I've ever done seen. Look at him. <gasps> Look at that cute little face. Tell me you could resist that cute face. I don't think you can. I don't think it's possible to resist that cute face. Ooh, this is a, a room that exists. Why is a, is a completely other question, but it does exist. I'm going to gamble real hard here. And we got a health down. Oof. A health down. A, an actual health down. Do you know what? I'm going to go do some more rooms to make sure we get a charge. A satanic Bible. That is truly a tragedy. Also, I forgot about the shop. Shops are probably pretty good for us. Another space bar there. So let's pop our snake eyes. A damage down. Zack. 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 Are you okay, bud? Do you need some milk? God damn, this is evil. I'm not doing so well right now. Things aren't going my way. I'll be fine, though, because I've got a plan. Also, I'm liking our, our uh, tiny horn here. We pop this. I honestly think at this point we take back Dice Bag. We're never going to have a full charge anymore. I think Dice Bag is potentially better. And it's cooler. Right. We go back to the shop. We buy a battery charge. We double dip on the uh, with our extra money. Go for another roll on Snake Eyes. I bet all of you are just like, dude, stop rolling Snake Eyes on so low amount of chips. Never. Lucky hand. I don't know what that means, but it did something. Well, I, I didn't mean to bomb there, you know. I meant to bomb here. That's pretty good. I'm just going to take these and go. I'll D20 you. Yeah, there you go. Free penny. Okay. Health is now in a much, much better spot. That was a little touch and go for a second there. Let's be on our way. Dice back might end up helping us out, but this, this is a run that I could foresee some problems with. This is a run that I could, that, that is 
it's just littered with littered with potential problems. These are not the sort of enemies I want in conjunction with Sloth. I really like this tiny horn, dude. The balls seem like reasonably aggressive when an enemy gets near. I, I kind of like that. They kind of linger, and if an enemy gets near, they zoom towards. They don't do a lot of damage. In fact, they hardly do any, but it's cute. And like once enough of them stack up, it's pretty good. Thank you for a single penny. Also, Temperance, I'll just put you there for now. I'm not that bothered about using you. D20. D7. D nothing. Delighted. Haha! <laughs> okay, good, good. I kind of want to... Do you know, this guy, this guy hasn't been attacked yet. Let's see how much damage this boy's doing. Can you kill this boy alone? Okay, I do actually have to fire to, to proc these things. Okay, that was pretty good. They kind of act like pop tiers. I think they're essentially like resprited weak pop tiers with herming or something along those lines. Maybe I'm just making it up. Maybe she's bomb with it. Right, the D6. How beautiful it would be to use such a thing. That was a true gamble, just in case. I'm gonna pop you guys. Um, okay, apparently if you bomb the donation machine, it stops you being able to use the table. Would have been good to know that prior, but I guess at least we know it now. Wasn't what I was expecting to see. I suppose that is a good thing. It means you can't really abuse the table as much, but... Wasn't expecting it. I'm getting some pretty bad lag this run, by the way. I really am not sure what's causing it. Look down. Like there, just got a really bad hitch. A really bad hitch. There's a Dormic there too. Wait, what? Uh, some something bad is happening. Okay, I think it's because I'm doing a download in the background. I don't think Isaac likes it. My game just like tabbed out like three times in a row rapidly. Spear of Destiny. The D4. See, I'm a little bit torn. Because the D4 is good. But we do actually have a pretty decent run in terms of our items right now. Like, we have the Tiny Horn, which is whether he's good or not is regard Like, regardless, he is the cutest little fella. I don't ever want to lose him. If he leaves my side, I may kill myself. Um, and then we have Magic Mush. And then we have a decent experimental treatment. And then we have the uh, the good old Book of Belial. So it's like, there's a lot of stuff in here that I do want to keep. But at the same time, I feel like with Dice Bag, if you don't roll the burns, you're just kind of a pussy. <laughs> so I, I always like to, even even when I'm even when it's just a terrible idea. Maybe I'll just kind of wait until I'm in a little bit of a better state to do so. Also, spear, thank you. Also, remember we got the D1 here, so if we get a penny at the end of our run or whatever. Just just use it. End of our run. End of this room, should I say? Hey, little fella. There you go. Exactly what I said. A penny. We get another penny. Huzzah. We will quickly bomb this. Damn it, I was hoping for a kill there. Didn't quite get it. Then in here, we've got a dead bird. Okay, starting to make me want to reroll a little more. I'm going to crack key here. Just for the hell of it. Thank you, Spear. Oh, hello. We can pop this bad boy a little bit. See what we get in here. I love these chests. All pickups and enemies into keys. Very nice. There's a key right there. Not quite enough enemies to use it there. Very close, though. Oh, I, I'm really liking our tiny horn. That's a very cool new item. It's from the Epic Act mod, and I've never seen it before. I think that is just genuinely because it's new. Okay, the spear. The spear. Tiny horn versus big horn. Let's go. The ultimate showdown. The spear. Small ball versus big ball. Oh, another one. Tiny Krampus. <laughs> It's the tiny boys. <laughs> oh, it's the tiny boys. Is that what it's actually called? I've got to check because I couldn't actually see the name. Inventory. I think these are two new items. Tiny, yeah. Tiny horn and tiny Krampus. 
Spots a tiny cramp um, behaves similar to Dry Baby when hit. 10% um, chance to release Bim, Brimstone, Crush, and Cardinal Directions. This is the cutest. I can't reroll now. It's it's it would be blasphemous. It would it would genuinely destroy every fiber of my being to destroy these lovely boys. It cannot it simply cannot be done. Excuse me, chest. Are you okay? Also, what the hell? Smells a random trinket onto you. You've got to. You've got to. We got ourselves a stone heart of some description. Um, It just says, pull, pulses beneath the rocks. Oh, is this the one where destroying rocks can give us hearts sometimes? I think that's what it does. Okay. I can't believe we got, not only did we get the two tiny boys, but they're both new items from the Ipecac mod. So cute. And honoured the Zack. First episode for Zack, nonetheless. Very cute. But yeah, there you go. Look, we destroyed a skull and we got a red heart, which normally isn't possible. When we destroy rocks, we have a chance to get um, red health. I don't know if it's just red health or any health, but I think it's just red health. I've tried to use my spear as much as possible as well. I think the spear is a very, very good utility little orbital sort of thing, but it's not very, it's not used very often. Do, 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 do. I was going to use the S spades here, then I realized everything is over a gap and there's only two tangible enemies. <laughs> Not a good idea. Let's use it in here. We got the... Can be thrown similar to Chaos card if it touches an enemy. Enemies are raised. Ooh, that's an interesting card. I like that. Anti-material card. I'm going to drop my trinket. I like it, but it's it's going to end up making me do stuff I don't want to do. Fast bombs. Wait, first of all, yeah, it's not a pedestal mimic. Good. Nah, I like I like my my group of boys, but he is not for me. Oh, watermelon. I would like it. It is part of me. Oh, Samson's chair to you. Pulling on my nards right now, game. Oh my god, can you stop? Please. <laughs> yeah. Better than nothing. Ooh, also. Hmm. Right, first of all, let's just clear a room and then get that, uh... Ow. Ooh, but with the... Okay, spear is very good with the slow-mo. So first of all, press that. Then, snake eyes. Cursed. Don't know what that does for us. Might just give us a curse. But yeah, it's, it's giving us curse of the blind. Okay. Um, right. I've kind of got an idea, but I've got to wait for it to pan out. I've just got to wait for it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. So, if you're wondering what happened there... I went to use the card, and I thought it'd be like a razor where you'd hold it above your head and then throw it. But it did say throws like chaos card. Well, that was my bad. That was just me being stupid. I was just going to erase those dudes because they're annoying. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually care, dude. Do I look like I'm bothered? You're an easy death now. Question is, do we want it? Yes, we do. Guppy's tail. And a bunch of items we don't know. To the next floor. Bit scary. Bit scary, but I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I've got my tiny boys. If I, as long as I've got my tiny boys, I will permanently be okay. We also got that, which is very nice. <laughs> now, not only do we look amazing, goddamn... The visual effect of uh, of Zack as a character plus this, very nice. But yeah, also now we have the ability to spread fire and flame, which is always a, uh, a positive. God, there's so many heckin' ghosts in this room. Can you calm down, room? 
No! Oh, that was close. Oh, the spikes went up right as I ran for it. I kind of second guessed myself. I went to go over it and I was like, wait a minute. There were spikes there a moment ago. Ooh, Baleful Heart. Well held, someone's goes to attack the enemies. Nice. They actually replace Eternal Heart, so we would have had an Eternal Heart there. Second time I've had one of these. Still undecided on how strong they are, how good they are. They seem pretty good, though. Do these fires block shots? Because if they do, that's very strong. I'm not really ready for the shop yet. Good, good. We'll keep her going. We've got this red rune. I'm not sure what I want to use it on yet. Likely it'll be a spacebar item that we get and don't want. Because we've been getting a lot of those already. I accidentally let go of my charge a little early there. Yeah, I love this. We've got such a cool build now. We've turned into like this demonic being where we have Krampus and Tiny Horn and fire and a spear. It's cool. I like it. Give me like the little horn item as well. That'd be funny. I'd like that combination. And then also we're summoning ghosts as well. It's just we've got a lot of interesting stuff working in tandem here. Basically, what we've got to do is stand near an enemy, and for as long as we have the heart, which I believe is a heart that overlaps another, so basically we have to hit, get hit twice before we lose it, um, then it's going to spawn ghosts when near things, which is pretty good. Boom, bow. That's also very good. We could end up getting a transformation here. We got conjoined. Very nice. And nothing else. Pretty happy with conjoined, though. I think conjoined's a very fun synergy. I have any fun transformation, sorry, that leads to a lot of synergy, is what I meant to say. Good. Yeah, the fires do block shots, I believe. Quite strong. Oh, wow. So, by the way, I've just, I've just got to say... Also, that's a lot of unique hearts there. I've just got to say, just for whoever made that room, I like, I like your thinking. It's an interesting idea. But there's a pretty huge problem that I don't know if you've thought about, but it's definitely significant. When you make a room like that, and it re-rolls past that many items that rapidly, you do realise that it takes all of those items out of the item pool permanently. All those items that instantly got re-rolled and we never saw are all gone forever. Like, I don't know if they thought about that. They might have done. It might just be kind of like a a rare bad special room that's just kind of a dick move room which is kind of fair if that's the idea but i'm also feel they just thought it'd be kind of interesting and didn't think about the implications further into the run um just because i i, I can just imagine I, I i can see myself doing a similar thing and not thinking about it um we've got a patched heart there we're getting a lot of custom hearts this run uh i'm just gonna go the standard Let's keep going. But yeah, I think we've created a very intriguing run so far. We've got some really cool stuff going on. We've made Zack into like this devilish character. That's kind of cool. Seeing seeing the cardboard box and the wooden chest side by side. I like it. And we got another cardboard. Ooh, we got the, the black bean. This is just going to be a red rune, I think. Um, wait. Oh, okay. I was like, why the hell did I get, um... Oh, Black Bean's got a special sprite there. Cool, it's cool. I was like, why the hell did I get a fl an extra fly? But I didn't. I, I just, uh, I got literally, like, a locust. Like, a one-use locust. I never actually did see what, um, what we got from our Zealot Heart. We got Analog Stick. Oh, goddamn. I got an itchy eye for some reason. Like, like, obscenely itchy for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Probably would have rather have sucked that up than Black Bean, I'll be honest, but oh well. I don't know, maybe looks a little more important, especially considering we had negative luck there. Oh, we got little little Sig Monster here. Where did he come from? I don't actually, I genuinely don't know where he came from. Oh, uh, Molding Clay. I didn't realize we had Molding Clay, I forgot about that. We lost our Zealot Heart, unfortunately. Now we have the Polaroid and we all have Soul Heart health. Um, Spear of Destiny. Oh, we got a Rainbow Champion here. Spear of Destiny plus um, 
the Polaroid plus, yeah, it just it plus everything we got. It's just really cool. We got ourselves the foiled Tempress. Okay, not that good, but I'll take it. We're gonna pop Snake Eyes in a moment as well. We'll pop it now. Hey, we got a dice shard this time. Let's not accidentally use it this time, shall we? Let's actually try and keep it. <laughs> I love the little cart. The only thing I don't like about the cart is the sprite work is like, it's really detailed, but like in a bad way. Now, I don't say it's bad. It looks pretty good. It looks fitting for the game, but it looks like a little bit too high def and it stands out like a lot. I don't know if that's intentional. I don't know. It might just be me. It might just be my mind playing tricks on me. By the way. Champion Plum here. What a cutie. Yeah, I'm really liking Astral Projection here. Working out a lot for us. Okay, are we going the right way? No, we are not. We most certainly are not. I'll take a gamble on Snake Eyes here. We got cursed, unfortunately. I think we'll get a Soul Heart out of these bad boys, won't we? Yes. Thank you. There you go. And that, ooh, I think we managed to skip a room there. Wow, we did a lot of damage during that jump there. That was very good. I don't think I've seen uh, Little Krampus actually go off in a combat room yet. I've seen him go off a few times throughout the run, but he's not really killed much. But then again, I'm not playing to his strengths. I need to play him like Dry Baby. The marked is just a pick up here. Just grab it. And then Krampus. Krampus v Krampus. Let's go. Shoot at him. Shoot at my boy. Come on. It's Krampus v Krampus. Let's go. Shoot at him. Shoot at him. Damn you. Yes! Aw, oh. <laughs> Krampus. You fumbled it. You could have killed your dad. Little Tiny Horn was kind enough to kill his dad. Why aren't you? <laughs> when it comes to dad murdering, I think Tiny Horn has the advantage. Remember, we've got the ability to reroll on that dice shard if we need it. I'm going to pop my snake eyes after this room as well. Snake eyes. Speed up. Nice. Yeah, the, i got to say, this, the, the gambling, it ranges from pretty mild and inconsequential to some really life-changing stuff, both in a good and bad way. I wonder if it can give you... Uh, modded curses, or if we can just give you base game curses. I, I tend to say it's probably just base game. We also got Toxic Shock this room, didn't we? Oh no, we got Pentacles. Why did the whole room get poisoned there? I do not know. Molding Clay said we had uh, Pentacles, but the whole room got poisoned for some reason. Fire off some fire. Scott, why do they always have to spawn in this corner? Stop. Right, Cramp Arena, I need you to get in front of me and stay there. I think that's why Krampus isn't proccing that often. Because the fires are just destroying all the shots that would be hitting him. Hey, there you go. He did it. Nice one, little Cramps. Love you, buddy. I love you. Yeah, they are top... Top quality familiars by the Ipecac team there. Really basic, not like anything super unique, but that's not a bad thing at all. I think one thing that I actually really like in modding is playing on things in the vanilla game. Taking a vanilla thing in the game and expanding on it and exploring it. Because that's what, that's what the vanilla game does a lot. The vanilla game already has a lot of that. So using that as a formula to make new items is a surefire way to make things that fit into the game very well and are enjoyed. 
And that is exactly the case for me here. Jackpot. That wasn't really a jackpot. You're getting like five coins. Ooh, Meteor. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think with uh, Conjoined, this could be quite good. Torn card is also a funny one. Ghosts meet my fire. The quarter? Hello. I should have dice sharded that, to be honest. But I'm kind of holding dice shard now for later. I'm loving our meteors. Gotta love those meteors. I'm usually, I'm just like using the spear to like ram into every enemy. It's working extremely well. Obviously I can only really do it because of the HP that I have and the fact that I can literally destroy any shot that comes my way. That guy was explosive, whoopsie. But, oh wait, is that a bug? I, I, I fired off my fires while in that, uh, while in the astral projection thing. I feel like more fires came out than normal. Maybe I'm just miss, like, I'm not really seeing that right. I'm not sure. Look at that. Is that like a lot more fires than normal or not? Maybe not. I don't know. Lots of trinkets that we don't need. Push the cart. I, I like the cart as well because not only does it destroy rocks, but it just kind of bumbles around each room regardless of whether you want, like you're aiming for it and helps you out. Pop our snake eyes again. Judgment Hierophon, beautiful. I am playing so risky today, it's crazy. I will utilize the spear to the best of my abilities at all times. Even if it's very detrimental to me, I promise. There you go. And now we can get Dice Shard ready and have a little look-see. Well, this has been a very fun run. Very fun run indeed. So this will give us the fun guy transformation. Cricket's body's really good. Auction gavel? Oh, that's Dad's mallet, actually. Um, I think these two are going to get Dice Shard. Willow... Plus five luck, hell yeah. So good on this floor. Also, I think Cricket's body is uh, creating a situation in which a lot more meteors are falling than intended. I like that. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like that's a lot of meteors. Because it said each tier has a chance to drop a meteor. I'm liking this setup. It's rather nice. I can just, I'm just loving, like, for one, how chaotic everything has become, but also just sh how sheerly aggressive I'm able to be. Also, spoon bender with this setup is awesome. Very beautiful. Hey, we got another dice shard. Nice. Calm down, room. There's only so many of you I can handle. Oh lord, things about to get real crazy. <laughs> With Herming, Spinning Wheel is pretty OP for what we've got right now. Dumpy! I finally got little Dumpy. He got a massive buff recently. He's basically like a dirty holy mantle. I don't know if anyone watched Slay's video on it, but he's really good now. I should stop firing. Right. We get go up to 15 fire rate and just look at everything die. Without Herming, this wouldn't be anywhere near as good, but with Herming, it's pretty awesome. Tooth and Nail's pretty good here. I don't know why we're firing out, like, random streams of tears now. What's that about? 
I need to maybe check in on that. I'm not sure what's causing that. Also, where did a little haunt, uh, big haunt come from, even? The haunt, should I say. Thunder and lightning, very, very frightening. Yeah, like, let's just, let's just see. So, if I'm firing... Yeah, look, I like firing streams of tears every now and again. What's that about? Is that, like, a transformation I don't know about? Oh, you can't be... Don't rebirth, please. It's not fun. Nice. Yeah, Tech 2 just makes this even better. And where is the boss exactly? Where is the boss? Where is the boss? Where is the boss? The boss, the boss. Everything's just dying instantly. This is beautiful. The chest is such a chaotic mess. I love it. The chest is such a great idea for a floor. There's a floor where you just get to flex on everything. Like, sometimes it could be a genuine challenge, but a lot of the time it's just like, here, flex your build and make it stronger. And it's like, it's just fun. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a great little run we had there. Jump in the chest. First old run of Zack. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.